So whenever I first started to learn how to play bass, I always thought that bass slides and things were like kind of a stylistic thing that you could only use in like rock, metal, or if you're playing something crazy, kind of like this. But after playing a lot of different genres and playing with a lot of different bands and kind of, you know, playing a lot of different styles of music, I realized that bass slides can be used in any genre. You just have to know how to use it. So today I'm going to give you six ways that you could practically use bass slides to spice up your playing. So let's jump into it. So every concept that I'm going over today is going to be in my new book, DIY Bass, that I released with Hal Leonard last year. If you want to pick one up, it'll be linked in the description below. So first things first, what is a slide? All a slide is is where you press down on your fretboard and basically hold your note that you press down and slide to another place on the fretboard. It could be the same note, it could be another note, and we're gonna talk about those a little bit later. Basically, that's the whole concept. So for example, if I play just like this note right here, and I just slide to this note right here, which is the same note, that is what we consider a slide. See, it kind of, it's like a slide. The whole idea with slides is that when you press down and you play all the notes in between, it gives it like this slide sound, you know? And so that's pretty much the whole concept. It's super, super simple. Now let's talk about some practical ways of using slides. So the first way we're going to talk about is octave slides. This is the one that we probably all have heard before when somebody plays like If you don't know what an octave is, all an octave is is where you're playing the same note just at a different place on the fretboard. So what I just did right there is I'm playing the same note just on the same string all the way up an octave way up here. So watch this. So I'm playing a G note down here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide all the way up until I get to the same note all the way up here. And what this does is allows me to just go straight to another note to kind of give a little bit of some variation or articulation that's a little bit different, okay? And so this is the reason why you hear a lot of people use this one because you can use it just aware, just anywhere because you're just playing the same note up an octave and it's just giving, making it sound less just like one note and less monotonous. So if I was playing, if I was staying on the one, you know, I'm playing on that one and I wanna just kinda keep, give a variation, I could just slide up. And it's fine because it's the same note. Now, a couple of ways you can play them is first, you can play them on the same string like I just did right there. I'm just playing and just sliding all the way up to the, you know, octave way up here. Or you can play it to where you go to the octave on the string right next to it. So watch this, I do like, which is the octave two, but what I did is I slid up on my E string, and then when I got to the note where the G is on the A string, I went to it kind of smoothly like this. You see, it gives the illusion that you're actually sliding all the way up here. And the reason why I do that a lot of times is sometimes I don't wanna go all the way to that top, top fret way up here, or sometimes I don't even have enough frets to you know, do one for the E here, you know? And so I may just wanna to go to the E here, you know? So it's not like crazy, crazy high or a place that I don't have any frets. And so that's just a little technique that I use all the time. Now also with octave slides, don't forget you can go to open strings as well. So like if you're playing an open E, you want to slide up to the octave on the 12th fret. Same thing.
Now the next practical way to use it is note to note slides. And all note to note slides are, or it's literally in the name, you're just sliding from one note to another note in the progression. So if I'm playing, you know, like, all I'm gonna do is just slide to each note. Pretty simple, right? So if you just wanna slide from one note to another note, that's what these note to note slides are. You can do it on different strings, you could do it on one string, it just depends on what feeling or emotion you're going for. So now the next way of using slides is using slide ins and slide outs, okay? This is just really simple, all right? It's basically where you slide into a note and you slide out of that note. This is just a little way of kind of giving a little articulation as well. Like, especially if you're going from section to section, I use this all the time. So like, if I'm playing something, I'm like, and I cut the bass, you know, that's literally why I do that all the time. You see, I do that little hand thing. I don't know where I get that from, but <laughs> that's just something I always do. When you slide out of that note, it gives it like this like, ooh, that's really, it has like this feeling that's not robotic. So a couple of ways you can use these slide ins and slide outs is a lot of times I use it to where I slide into like an open note or really, you know, low note. I slide up and then instead of getting to it, stopping at a note, I just mute and go to an, an open note. So like this. Okay. And it's really simple, but the reason why it's fun because it gives a little bit of energy to your note instead of just going straight from, you know what I'm saying? I can go, you know what I'm saying? And it gives it like this kind of fun and just energeticness that you didn't have before. So another way I use slide outs is that I basically play a note and slide out of that note into a mute like this. And all I'm doing is just playing the note and sliding until I mute it. So if I'm using this in a song, it'd be something like, or if you're doing like, so it's like, it's like a cool, just kind of way of just giving some cool articulation to what you're playing. All right, now the next technique is grace note slides. These are really ones that are used just to kind of spice up your playing. It kind of all plays together a little bit, but when you do grace note slides, a lot of times I'm thinking about like one to two fret slides, okay? That's what I'm thinking about with grace note slides. So if I'm playing a note, cause we've been in G this whole time. So say I wanted to play a note to emphasize that G, I can do this. A grace note slide right there. Okay, and that's what I call a grace note slide. It's just that one fret two, you know, right before it to go to it. So the way my, my way of always thinking about it is that when you play a major note or major going to something major, do one fret before. And if you're going to something minor, do two frets before. Okay, that's just the way that I always thought about it. So if I'm playing like on a one, I'll probably do So if I'm playing something minor, hear the difference? Minor. And that's kind of how I always think about it when it comes to using these grace note slides. So if you ever hear me play like a chord like this, you know, all I'm doing is like a, doing a grace note slide 
But the way I usually sometimes do it is when I'm sliding from so far is that I play a note and then hammer it on. And sometimes I just slide it in like that. And so you'll hear that a lot when you hear players play chords and different things like that when they're doing those really ringing out types of notes. And so slides really, really just kind of help that articulation to sound really smooth. So now the next way of utilizing slides is sliding to the fifth note. So if you don't know what a fifth is, all the fifth is is the fifth note of the major scale. So right now we're in, we're in G. I'm just gonna play that major scale. All I'm gonna do is stop when I get to the five. I'm gonna start counting my notes right here. First note, second note, third note, fourth note, fifth note, okay? That's the fifth. Now, if you know your number system, you know exactly what I mean, but that's pretty much uh, using the number system to find that fifth. So that is what you're gonna be targeting whenever we're going through these slides. Because most times, if you ever heard people use like power chords or things like, you know. All it is, the reason why it works for just about any chord is because that fifth is almost in every single chord that you play. And so a way that you can use slides in a really cool and creative way is so you can, if you're just staying on the one, you slide to the fifth. Back to the one. Slide to the fifth. Now this will definitely depend on what style of music sometimes that you're playing and how you utilize it. You don't have to keep it driving like I just did. You can even do something like more groovy. And you can do that with any note that you pretty much play on. And so this is just a good way of just kind of getting you into coming up with different variations of ways to use slides. So when it comes to utilizing the fifths, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to just slide, you can slide on the same string to the note, or you can do what I've done before where you slide to right there on the string below or next to it. And it just depends on what timing you have and what song you're playing to if it works or if it you need to make that real long slide. It, it just depends on what you're going for. So now this last technique is gonna be sliding to the thirds, which is pretty much the same kind of concept as the fifths, but it's just gonna depend on what chord you're playing. So. Usually when you're playing, you know, the major scale, you've got the, the first note of the major scale is a major chord, second note's like a minor chord, third note's like a minor, fourth note's a major, fifth note's a major, sixth note's a minor, seventh note can be slid to a minor, but it's really diminished, and then you're back to the beginning, okay? I do have another video that I'll link right here that I talk about the number system, how you can use it on bass, and I'll talk about the chords and stuff like that. But I just wanted to give you guys a little synopsis of what each of them were. So now the way this helps us is that now is like if I'm playing a G or a one, most times the one is a major chord. And so what is gonna happen is that I'm gonna now think about what is my major three, okay? Which is gonna be the third note of the major scale, okay? So I'm just gonna slide to that. All right, you hear that? That's just going straight to that three and just going right back to the one. And the thing is that this can change, that note will change it. it you can do that for other notes like the four and the five. But the thing is when you go to that six or go to a two, ugh, it doesn't, that doesn't really sound that great, okay? The reason why is because that's usually when you go to a two or the second note of the major scale or six or three, it's a minor chord. And so you have to play the minor three or the flat three. So watch this. So if I'm playing an A, 
this A right here, the two, instead of going up to that third note, you're gonna go down, flat that third note to the flat three so you get a minor sound. Okay, so now if I'm playing this, the one, major three, go to two, minor three, Let's see if we go to the four, major three, six, minor three. You see what I'm saying? And so that's the way you have to think about it when it comes to playing these is thinking about, okay, is it a major chord, minor chord, major chord, minor chord. And then it can cause you to think and be creative with like how you can use these slides and slide to the, a third or a fifth or different things like that. So whenever you're using slides, there's three things you need to make sure you remember. That you're playing with confidence because people can feel when you're not. Two, use slides to build energy when you're playing and just build like, you know, a lot of tension and a lot of just like, you know, energy. Also, to use them to have a human feel. Because sometimes today, with when it comes to all this technology, synth bases, and all this kind of stuff, a lot of times what makes the difference is the human feel. Let slides give you that human feel because I'm telling you, it really, really makes a difference. So if you guys enjoyed this video or learned something today, please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to pick up a copy of my book, DIY Bass, it'll be linked in the description below as well. And as always, if you want to support this channel, feel free to check out my website, travisdykesmusic.com. You can purchase practice tracks and different things on the website that help support this channel. And also, you can click and make a purchase through any of my affiliate links that are in the description below to where if you make a purchase through those links, this channel gets a kickback to bring you more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.